The dark domes in the background are reef ball modules. I'll do a whole separate video on them at another time. This one is about plants and planting. On November 14, 2020, I was finally able to volunteer with Dr. Mark Clark on the Living Shoreline Project at Cedar Key. On this beautiful November morning, Professor Clark, myself, and two other volunteers were planting salt meadow cordgrass, or Spartina patens, for all you science chimps out there. The process was pretty straightforward. As Professor Clark worked the post hole diggers up and down the beach, we volunteers scurried about placing plants in holes and then filling in around the young transplants. In the past, coastal erosion was often handled by installing hard structures like rock jetties or concrete seawalls. These structures do offer protection, but over time, they can actually increase both erosion and habitat loss. The general concept behind the Living Shorelines project is to use softer, natural alternatives, like these plants that we're planting, to help reduce erosion and improve habitats for fish, shellfish, and wading birds. Rows of plants lower on the beach near the water's edge were planted by earlier volunteers. These plants are a close cousin of the salt meadow cordgrass, which we were planting. The plants near the water's edge are smooth cordgrass or Spartina alterniflora. This species of cordgrass grows best in the lower, wetter part of the beach. As each of these cordgrass species grow, their roots and rhizomes will bind beach sediments and help to strengthen this beach against erosion. At the same time, they increase habitat possibilities for wildlife, as well as performing the vital ecological role of producer. We worked for about three and a half hours when our shift was over, Professor Clark estimated that we had planted over 800 salt meadow cordgrass plants. It was a fun, satisfying experience. Maybe you should try it. At the end of this video, I'll post a link to the Living Shorelines project, so maybe you could get your hands sandy too. Coming up is a time-lapse video of the crew knocking it out. <laughs>